welcome to another episode of The Distinguished Geeks. So it's Sunday the 23rd of June 2019 and we're now at another True Butterflies cosplay workshop and it's a Star Wars photo shoot. Now I did say I wasn't going to be here, I did say that, yes, uh, but I came back a day early uh, on uh, my phone for the wedding and we're here. So we're able to be here which I'm really excited. So as promised last time I did say that Jake was going to be filming so we are so I'm going to be handing over to Jake in a minute and he will take over and he will film and it'll be fantastic. I will jump in now and again just to intervene and obviously you know talk and, and tell you what's happening but uh, essentially Jake will do most of the filming and it gives me experience because he wants to do this and, and uh, he wants to sort of learn how to be a YouTuber. Uh, I'm nowhere near a professional, but uh, I love doing, you know, I love doing this, and I think you know he wants to do this too. So please um, leave uh, comments in, in below, and please give him support and, and just just tell him how good he's doing. He's doing really, really well. So great. Right. Okay. So Star Wars guys, can be walking in. So here we go. How good was that? That's really good so far, isn't it? So Jake's done most of the filming so far. They're really good, aren't they? Yeah, I mean, he's got a really good shot of the Jawa chasing him. Uh, some great shots of Darth Vader. So, he's, you know, he's got a good eye already. I mean, you know, I gave him some pointers of, you know, how to point the camera at a, at a sword group or a character. And that usually engages that character to come to, to your camera and start, you know, either posing or, or acting out. So. He's noticing that, and you know, fantastic. So he's walking up to certain characters, or he's, he's noticing, oh yeah, that's a really good scene. Let, let, let's just film that. So it's pretty good. Um, so I just had a look at um, Jake's shark, and it looks pretty cool. Jawa's playing around there. Do you look at Jawa? Jawa's being killed. Jawa's being killed? Yes, it is. Oh, I
Jake. Hello. Hello. So, what are you making for Comic Con? A shark. A shark. So, what, what gave you the idea for a shark? Jaws. Good choice. So, what's, um, what color are you going to be painting? Are you going to leave it as it is? And what have you been wearing while you're doing it? Torn shirt. Torn shirt and torn trousers. Yeah. Always like you being attacked. Yeah. So uh, how long has it taken to make this so far? Um, a couple sessions. So it's about two months now. Sessions. Yeah, so you've, done, you've just been doing it at the workshop. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, it's really, really good. So, what's inside there? Have you got a handle for your hand? Yeah? Let's have a look at the front of your shark. Let's see the teeth of the shark, shall we? Look at that. That's amazing. Yeah, that looks really, really good. Well done. I think that looks really good. I'm looking forward to seeing what it looks like on the Comic Con. Brilliant. There we are. Yep. All right. Yep. Love it. So that was really cool. So you had a little interview there with Jake. So he was just showing, telling us how he you know, came up with the idea for getting sharks. So obviously, Jaws was the idea for him to uh, build that shark. Um, so obviously, you know, uh, I'm not sure how much sound was coming through there, but obviously with the, the background noise. So. Um, that was his idea of getting the shark. He's taken about two sessions, which means he's done no work on the outside of his workshops. He's done it purely on the workshops. So that's about two sessions that'll be done. So a little bit of this one, but mainly the last two workshops were, were where he actually uh, was physically working a lot on the shark. Um, also, he said there's a handle inside the mouth where he can hold. He has told me that he doesn't really need the handle because the mouth is quite snug as uh, he actually stays on his arm, but it's a bit more comfort there. And also what he wants to do is uh, wear some tall clothing, so he's going to buy some t-shirts and some shorts, make some, you know, rip them up a little bit to look like he's been attacked. So yeah, so um, what was the idea? I mean, you know what I mean? It's just, just come from the idea of me watching Jaws and uh, he's calmed out, which is really, really good. So with the help of Kieran, uh, which you, uh, you've seen before, uh, that shark is looking fantastic. So yeah, amazing, absolutely amazing. Okay, right, let's move on. Really good. Uh, it's a really good uh, turnout for the, the, the force of charity we're here. Uh, they're the guys in the, in the Star Wars. Uh, but yeah, so it's really good. So um, you obviously now see the shark uh, with Jake. That's, that's going to be really good. So that's going to be painted and a few more mods on that one and that will be sorted. Uh, you've also seen the Imperial Guard. Um, so that's uh, with, with um, Hamish, um, and you know he's 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 pretty much all there. Uh, just a few more things to be uh, on that one. The alien is still work in progress. It hasn't finished yet, so it's still working. Well, not working progress, but well, it's doing really well. But you can have a look into here. So it's really good. So there's a few more things to be added on there, like I said, on the waistcoat bit, you know, a few more 
added on, but it's going to look pretty cool. Um, so also we're going to have, so the next uh, workshop, which is going to be I think the 21st of July, uh, it's going to be the Alien versus Predator. Now how excited is that? So we're going to have some guys, we, we, you've met him, uh, well you've seen him in the Plymouth Comic Con I went to, I saw the Predator outside. Yeah, so he's coming down and he'll be dressed up. Um, so we'll have a nice photo shoot with Alien vs Predator and that'll be really, really cool. Uh, I'm looking forward to that one. So, yes. Uh, right, so we're gonna walk around a bit more. Uh, we'll see what other things are happening. So, as well as this workshop, as the photo shoot, we've got the actual costumes uh, being made on the side there. So we'll see how they're getting on uh, because the 10th of August is coming very, very soon. Right, let's go. So cool. So that was Jake uh, sanding his um, his shark. Uh, so that's pretty good. So that's 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 really good. So obviously then he's working on his own shark, and it's, it's just a sense of pride. You know what I mean, he's doing so well. That shark looking so good. So um, and there's a there's a great. Well, you saw the video, but I'll put the still of him with a shark in his hand, and, you know, screaming. That's really good. Love it. He's doing so well there. So. These are all looking so great. I mean, all these little costumes for these kids are looking so, so good. I can't wait for the final, um, final bit to the piece on the comic on 10th of August when on that stage. Amazing. So like I said before, um, well, it's about, about a couple of months ago actually, um, about these costumes are going to be displayed in an art gallery, so the one behind uh, Tesco's in Falmouth. So if you don't know where it is, don't worry, I will leave the address in the, in the description below. Um, but yes, so after the Comic Con, if you're local, if you're not, if you're down here and you want to see them, go for them. So they'll be, they'll be in there for, uh, I'll, again, I'll leave the, the time. Now I'm not sure how long they'll be displayed for, but they'll be in the art gallery and they'll be displayed there. So that'd be really good. So yeah, so again, I'll leave that uh, in the description below for you guys. Okay, right, I'm gonna walk around and see what else I can find. Here we go. So look at me, I'm Iron Man. This is so cool. Right, okay, so I'm not sure if you can hear me through the mask. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take the hair mask, put the helmet off, and I'll talk to you more about it. But so cool, eh? So cool, okay. So. That helmet of Iron Man is just starting out, as you can see, so he's going to be building the whole suit bit by bit. So it's uh, from a uh, guy around the corner here, and it's called Reaper's Creations. So that's the name of the modeling page. Um, so what I'll do, I'll leave the link in the description below. Click on that, have a look at this page. Pretty cool, and you can see what everything he does. Uh, but yeah, so that I'm really looking forward to. Um, it's showing me how, um, well, where, where to find things like that. So obviously it's quite easy to do. Well, at least it's quite easy because it's still quite skilled. I'm not sure if I can actually do it. But um, if you go on the website, you know, online, and just you know, uh, go on certain sites, bring your templates, and it'll show you. So that was about, I think you said it was something like, I don't know, 15 or 13 pages long. So each page has a section and it shows you which ones to cut out and what to model on. Um, and then you obviously what we have to do is obviously you have to get the, the ratio right. So obviously for an adult head or child head, so you may have to adjust the, the actual size. You may have to do a few tweaks for him, like he had to, because obviously, you know, he's an adult, he, you know, he couldn't keep it exactly how he said on the page. He had to make his own modifications, but, but it's pretty cool. First attempt, love it. So I'm gonna have a go doing that. When I don't know, and I can't guarantee I'll be successful, but I would like to have a go. So yeah, all right. Okay, that's pretty cool. Right, we're gonna go around and have a look at the other uh, workshops. Here we go.
a quite a short one uh, this month. Um, mainly because it is, 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 is the Star Wars, so it's mainly about the photo shoot. Uh, and it's just a little little tweaks really happening with the with the costume. So it's a bit shorter than usual, but still really good. It was a really good day. Stormtroopers, Darth Vader were here, and the kids loved it. Um, you saw little stormtrooper, how cute was that, melted my heart, walking in and you saw um, the Imperial Guard from Hamish, so that's, yeah, awesome. All looking fantastic, love it, love it, love it, love it. So, uh, yeah, mainly this workshop also was to let Jake uh, take control and film, um, so he's done a really, really good job, so yeah, please leave a comment below, tell him how good he's been. Uh, you know, show him the support, you know, uh, he's done, he's, he's, he's progressed so well and the confidence I've seen in Jake since the beginning of his workshop was just phenomenal. All these kids, phenomenal, absolutely fantastic. Um, so this workshop is absolutely fantastic and needs to happen more. Okay, we've seen the outcome, we've seen what it does to these children, how it really brings them out of the shell. Um, so, what I will do is put the link on the description below again of this workshop. Have a check because they need funding for next for next year. So have a look at it. If you want to donate to a charity, please do. Okay, help them because then this needs to carry on. Okay, this this year or this workshop workshops as a plural have been so successful and it proves that it works. So. Um, yeah, pretty good. Is he written for? <laughs> okay. <laughs> yes, I saw the reflection of Rick behind me. <laughs> so yeah, um, lost my thought there, but thanks. <laughs> uh, no, it's all good. It's all good. Uh, yes, pretty all good. So yeah. So uh, like I said, I'll leave the description um, the link in the description below. I always get that muddled up, so one day I'll get it perfectly right. Okay, guys. So I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, please like, share it, and even subscribe. And I shall see you at Geekfest. That's in two weeks' time. Geekfest. Can't wait. It's gonna look awesome. And I'll see you there. Right, guys. Have a great weekend. See you soon. Take care. Bye bye.